Did you know back in the day, fabric like Band-Aid adhesive is, was made out of fish bladder? <laughs> I have never heard that. <laughs> that messed up. Yeah. It's not wow. vegan. Well, now it is, but I think, you know, kind of back when vegan products wasn't a thing. Right. I hear your exploration in, in these pieces. So I'm interested about what it meant to you, right? Because um, I'm talking to a lot of artists who had a lot of struggle with believing that they were an artist and um, then have a struggle with thinking that their art should should do something. Mm. Um, and wh whatever that is, whether it's um, share a message with the world or uh, whatever, you know. Yeah. But it seems like for you, the creation of the art is a large part of what is uh, significant to you. Is there is there something else? I think that's, I mean, you know, again, it kind of stems from curiosity first. Mm -hmm. I almost, it's, you know, when I see or maybe come up with maybe an idea, I have yeah. to try it out. Huh. Like, is, is it going to work? Like, is it going to look okay? Right. Um, and then, you know, there's like a bunch of things I've tried that have never seen the light of day because right. it sucks, you know? <laughs> um, but I think by trying out and experimenting, it invokes like this playfulness yeah. that huh. is very um, private for me, I think. Hmm. And if that reaches outside of myself, then awesome. Yeah. You know? That's like, huh. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't be more happy. I love that. But if I am able to keep that for myself, that's also very special for me. That's a really cool place to be as a creative person. I think so. And I try to remind myself that, you know, as I get older and I kind of, you know, accumulate more experiences, I don't want mm. to lose that, you know, approach of, of, of playing. 